Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Farm Bureau's live coverage of the legislative session here in Helena, Montana. I'm Nicole Rolfe, your National Affairs Director, and this is my first ever Facebook Live video, so I hope it goes all well or goes okay. Uh, and so just bear with me here. It's been an, a busy and exciting week uh, here in Helena and as well as on the national level. And since we are here in Helena, we're focused on what's going on in our legislative session, but we're also working and continuing to keep track of what's going on in Washington, D.C. So I wanted to give you a, a few updates there. First of all, about an hour ago, we had our new president, Donald Trump, sworn in. Uh, now that the new administration is in, is uh, officially in office, uh, Montana Farm Bureau will look forward to working with the new administration and the new Congress to get uh, positive agriculture legislation passed. Uh, one of those pieces that we're particularly interested in is the Regulatory Accountability Act of 2017, which is also known as HR 5. Um, basically what that bill is going to do is to reaffirm congressional intent and to make sure that when agencies go through the rulemaking process they uh, focus on the legislative intent and don't essentially make law through the rulemaking process. Uh, gives more power back to Congress and it did pass the House which is great and it also passed the House including the Peterson Amendment which made sh makes sure that federal agencies cannot lobby on their own behalf in favor of their own uh, regulations as the EPA did in the case of the Waters of the United States rule. So um, we thank our members who reached out to Congress and um, expressed their support for that. Now we need to see it through the Senate as well. Um, you probably also heard that now President Trump uh, made his announcement for his pick for the Secretary of Agriculture and that is former Georgia Governor Sonny Perdue. He is a, he grew up on a farm, he owned a farm and fertilizer, or a seed and fertilizer business and um, of course is a veterinarian and was the uh, governor of Georgia and as you probably know our American Farm Bureau President Zippy Duval is also from Georgia. The, um, They've known each other for a while, and Farm Bureau does support Mr. Purdue's nominations. So we look forward to hearing about his uh, nomination process. Um, <clears throat> also, you probably heard our very own Congressman Ryan Zinke had his hearing in front of the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee on the 17th of this week. He uh, did a great job talking about what he wants to do as Secretary of the Interior and we're very excited to have a Westerner, especially a Montanan, uh, representing uh, and uh, serving in that position and look forward to following and continuing with that um, process um, and of course wish him, wish him the best in that process. Uh, one thing a little closer to home, the legislative session here has been a little slow and we always say um, when it starts out slow, oh, maybe there won't be, maybe it's going to be a quieter session, maybe there's not going to be as many bills heard. But um, we do know that that's not usually the case. Um, usually the bills do get rolling, so we expect to see that happening. One highlight from this week is that the Ag Coalition did host a reception for legislators on Monday night. That's all of the agriculture organizations in Montana. We had a great turnout with about 90 legislators passing through. And so we got to talk to them about what our organizations do and um, our members that we represent. And uh, so that was a great deal. Next week we'll be hosting a Water Rights 101 type workshop also. Um, as you probably heard if you watched the video from Chelsea last week, there um, are a lot of water bills, and there always are. And water law is very complicated. So uh, having this, this workshop to give legislators, um, the ones that are returning, but also new legislators, giving them some information that hopefully will be useful about current water law, how it works now, Hopefully that will be useful uh, for them in, in the legislative process going forward. <clears throat> so that's on next Monday night. Also, our Young Farmers and Ranchers Committee is hosting a Calling on the Capitol event. 
in uh, next week here in Helena on the 24th and 25th, which is Tuesday and Wednesday. I had to look back at our little uh, board here. You can see we uh, show all the bills that we're following for the next week, and we're updating that constantly. But uh, the Young Farmers and Ranchers Calling on the Capitol is going to be a great event. Um, we're going to have young people from all over the state coming in to uh, to sit in on committee hearings, get tours of the Capitol, meet with legislative, or excuse me, agency heads, um, just learn about the whole process and get involved. So if you're interested, if, you, if you're a Young Farmer and Rancher member uh, between the ages of 18 and 35, there is information about the event here on our Facebook page. But you can also call our office at 406-587-3153 and talk to Sue Ann. She can get you all set up um, if you haven't already done that. We hope you'll be able to join us. Uh, during those two days, you know, more bills will be scheduled as the time draws nearer. But there is going to be one that day on legal fence laws, or that will be on Tuesday, and then also one on funding for Sagegrass Stewardship Plan on Wednesday. So there's things of interest that will be happening while our members are here in town. And we hope that uh, you will also join us, and we look forward to seeing you then. As always, if uh, members have questions or concerns, please get in touch with Chelsea and I, and we look forward to hearing from you. Take care.